and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this really pretty infinity braid. To begin with, I'm taking a small section of hair at the top of her head. I've sprayed it with a bit of water. I'm going to section that in half, take a small slice from one side, and then look at my hands. My knuckles are facing up and my palms are down. This is really important, you need to hold the hair in this way to braid this style neatly. So this small piece that we took away is going to be doing all of the work. We're going to take it under and over these two strands that run down the back of the entire braid. Those two in my left hand we don't add any hair to. It's this piece that's going under and then it's going to go over this is the one that we are always adding the hair to. So I'm adding the hair using a comb just to help to collect it neatly. So you can see my hands are face down. I'm scooping up the hair and combining it with that small strand that we started with. And then together with those two pieces, it's going to go under the strand and then I'm going to take it over so we're back to the beginning. This is called an infinity braid because it loops around the hair in a figure of eight. So we're going to take a small slice of hair, add it to that section that's doing all of the work, take it back under the first strand, over the second strand, swapping hair over, taking some more hair from the side, combining it with that piece, taking it under that strand, and then taking it over the first one. So we're back to the beginning again. Combining some more hair, taking it under the first strand, over the second strand, and then this piece of hair, we're going to add more to it. So this braid is really nice and chunky because we're just adding hair continuously to one piece of hair, and it's going down the back of the head, getting thicker and thicker each time. So I'm going to do some more stitches at the top of her head in the same way, just continuing, continuing. Now when we get to the ear, it's really important that to get the braid sitting neatly across the curve of the head is we need to take the hair from the ear each time without going lower down the head. We need to be taking it like segments of an orange so you start very small by the ear and the section gets wider. So like you're taking triangular slices each time. So you're working away that curve, working around, sorry, the curve of the head. So I'm just going to continue now, adding the hair, taking that section of hair over, under, over, under, just looping it around like that figure of eight. Taking it under, over, adding more hair under over and can you see how I'm just going around the ear really slowly but on top of the head the sections are wider those two sections of hair that we started with at the very beginning I try and keep them pulled slightly apart from one another that just helps to push all of the hair up the braid to keep it tight and you don't see those two strands as much if you stop holding the, having the tension with those two pieces of hair, like the parallel lines going down the back of her head, then you don't get such a good finish to this infinity braid. So it's really, I'm trying to show you as much as I can, that if you hold those two sections of hair apart slightly when you're wrapping the hair around in that figure of eight, it will really help you to get a nice braid with all of the hair that you're adding, bunching up into the braid. So I'm just going to keep going all the way down to the nape of the neck and then tie it off with an elastic. So 
So when you get to the end of the hair, because you've taken in, this braid takes in so much hair, you don't get left with very much for a ponytail. So I think if you've braided all the way back down to the back of the head, it's quite nice to finish it with maybe a little bun. So this is a really simple one that I like to do often, doing two rope twists, where you take one section of hair and twist it to the right, but then cross it to the left. And just going all the way down to the bottom of the hair, and then to add volume to it, because there isn't very much in the hair now because of you so much for the braid, just tease it to make it a lot more full by just gently pulling on each loop of the rope twist that you've created. And then do the same on the other side of the hair so that you end up with two full rope twists. And the next thing we're going to do is just take these two and tie them in a knot. Using a pin, just going to pin that into the braid Take those two rope twists again and tie it into a knot below the knot that we've already created. Take those two ends and wrap them around the bun that we've made. Take them back down the sides and then just pin it all in. And I'm using one of these lovely clips just to hold it all together. And then that's the end result. So because she was going to dancing, I put some gel spray in it and then just use a comb to get any lumps and bumps out. And then you can use the end of your comb just to tuck it underneath the infinity braid just to give it a neater finish. So here we have the finished look. I think it's really, really nice. The hair looks really thick. This style always gets a lot of comments because it is quite unusual. But as you can see, it's really simple. It's just that one strand of hair going continuously around those two pieces that we started with. And if you're careful to go around the ear, you get a really, it sits really neatly along the back of the head. So here's the finished look. I hope you really like it. Please give me a comment, um, like and subscribe to our channel and um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.